We serve thousands of meals each month, and while we try for perfection, sometimes things go wrong, and that can mean an upset guest. If something goes wrong, I really do expect an apology. If they act like they don't care, then it comes off as being rude. I want them to listen to me and respect that I'm upset. If, if you're not treated well, you can always go someplace else. Bad service just ruins your time, it ruins your day, and usually you go home and tell people about the bad service you just had. If they handle it wrong, I'll never go back, and I'll probably tell other people not to go there. It doesn't bother me that people get upset because everybody works for their money. You know, you do kind of feel bad for them because they deserve to get what they paid for. I mean, if we got the order wrong, it's not their fault for them to come to complain to us. I have empathy for the guest all the time. We all know how it feels to not get what you want. I try to have the perspective of the guest. Right or wrong, it can be uncomfortable for you when a guest is angry. You're never going to have an employee that doesn't feel offended sometimes, because we get those guests that come in and just scream at the first contact they have. Sometimes an upset guest upsets me. My heartbeat increases. I start to get sweaty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I'm in a bad mood, what I do is I go to the walk-in, I talk to the chicken a little. I know I did it right, but because the guest is always right, I have to go along with it and say, okay, I'm sorry about that. Around here, the guests are never wrong. We have a no-fault guest complaint policy. So even if you think the guest is wrong, the guest is actually still right. The best way to handle an upset guest is with care. C-A-R-E. C means you listen carefully. A is apologize, of course, on behalf of El Pollo Loco. R stands for resolve, resolve the issue or problem. And E is express thanks, yes, thank them for bringing the problem to your attention. It's not about the problem, it's more about how we handle the problem. And the tone you use, you could say one thing, say, how may I help you, but if you say, hi, how may I help you, it's just a more it's more believable. You do whatever you have to do to make the customer happy. The way that we deal with our customers will let them know that we care about them and that they are important to El Pollo Loco and to us. So what are the most common problems and how can you use the care model to make it better? Let's start with the most obvious, a missing or wrong product. I once had a guest that had both a wrong item and a missing item. She was mad. You got my order wrong. I asked for corn tortillas and you gave me flour. I asked for french fries and they're not even in the bag. What's wrong with you people? Oh, I'm so sorry. You said we gave you the wrong tortillas and we forgot french fries in your bag? I really apologize. Yeah, and I would left. I had to come all the way back. Right there, I knew I had to replace the whole meal. Wrong tortillas is not just about tortillas. To the guests, the whole meal is ruined. Oh, I can see why you'd be frustrated. Again, I really apologize. Let me go ahead and replace the whole meal for you, okay? Not just the french fries or the tortillas. I want you to take home a complete meal. Yeah, that's the least that you can do. Absolutely. And can I give you and your family some churros to enjoy tonight? Yeah, all right, I like those. Great, let me get started on that. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. We really appreciate your business here at El Pollo Loco. We do what it takes to right our wrongs. It's what makes people come back. This lady was pretty much happy by the time she left. Another common problem is orders that take too long. I love working the drive through but all you need is one person to add something at the window, and the line gets really backed up, but I remember this one woman in particular. Good evening, ma'am. I really want to say thank you for waiting. Things are really backed up right now. Do you know how long I've been stuck here in this line? It's been 15 minutes. Now, the wrong way to handle this would be to ignore her and act like you're afraid of her anger. I could have walked past the window without even looking at her, or even closed the window to cut her off. I might be tempted to hide from her. Above all, get her out of there as quickly as possible. Here's your burrito combo. <laughs> of course, that's not what I did. I treated her with respect. Do you know how long I've been stuck here in this line? It's been 15 minutes. I know, ma'am. I'm really, really sorry about the wait. I know it's really frustrating. Your order's about up. Your total's going to be $7.65, please. Thank you. Here's your drink, and then I'll be right back with your order. Here's your burrito combo, and I also added a flan to your order to say thank you for waiting. I really, really do apologize about that. I'm really sorry. You have a nice day. Thank you. I knew I would have to apologize to eight cars in a row, but I was ready for it because it wasn't for anything I did. I was apologizing for El Pollo Loco. Of course, the goal is to serve great food to every guest at every visit. 
Here's what to do when that doesn't happen. Chicken is our main product in the restaurant. Uh, we have a lot of complaints, overdone chicken, undercooked chicken, but this one time I had a very different complaint. Hey, there's something wrong with this chicken. There's something wrong with the chicken? I'm sorry to hear. What's, what's wrong with it? It just tastes different. When you say different, you mean dry, overcooked, or what's wrong with it? No, different, just odd. To me, the chicken looked fine, but I still wanted to replace this whole meal, just so he could be satisfied. No, different, just odd. I'm very sorry to hear that. If you want, we could comp your meal right now, or I could take your name and replace your meal on your next visit. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll take the replacement. Thank you so much for telling us about it and for your patience, and I'm very sorry. After he left, I was still wondering what was wrong with his chicken, because it looked great. So I went to get a piece from the grill, and I tried it. Then that's when it hit me. The marination was off. That whole hour, everybody was eating that chicken, but he's the only one that bothered to complain. And that just goes to show that complaints are not always a bad thing, but a good thing. The guest was giving us feedback on something we needed to know. At some point, we're all going to have to deal with an upset guest. Here's what one manager did to turn a negative situation into a positive one. This happened just recently, actually. I had a guest that came in, and wow, he was really upset. He made a huge scene in front of all my guests. My first expression was like, oh my goodness, what do I do? Hi, how are you? Welcome to the Pollo Loco. I want you to know you almost harmed my son. Hi, how are you today? I'm the manager. What can I do for you? Last night, I ordered two burritos, and they were really spicy. My son bit into one, and he burned his mouth. He's only seven. He started to cry. We didn't know what was wrong. We thought he was hurt. We've ordered these before, and they were never that spicy. Why this time? I'm really sorry. You must have been terrified. Is he OK? Well, yeah, he's fine now, but, but that's not the point. I'm really sorry. Let me go ahead and replace the burritos for you. No, I want my money back. OK, do you have your receipt with you by chance? How dare you ask me for my receipt? Right there, he became furious. It's common to ask for a receipt just to make sure we've got the order right. But my goodness, he must have thought, this lady doesn't believe what I'm telling her. It was unbelievable. How dare you ask me for my receipt? This is outrageous. Do you think I'm lying about this? Uh, do you have any idea what I went through with my son last night? Are you a parent? Do you know what it's like when you think that your kid might be hurt? Yes, I am a mother. I really do understand. And again, I'm so sorry. Let me go ahead and refund your money. Don't worry about the receipt. We buy your business and we want you back as a guest. I, I will never come back here again. I hope that's not true. I'm going to write my name on the back of this card and I want you to come in and have dinner on us, okay? I really do value you and please come back. Afterward, I took the time to talk to my crew because this is a great opportunity to train them and let them know how we can avoid situations like this in the future. It really took everything we had to make that guest happy, but it was all worth it. He's come back several times. The care model helped each of these employees deal with difficult situations and upset guests. Oh my gosh, my heart was beating so quickly, I felt like I was running a marathon. My guests were watching us as if it was a match, going, oh my gosh, and what is she going to say? And what is he going to say? When there's an upset guest, no matter how big or how small the upset or problem may be, everyone is watching what you do. You take care of the customer no matter what it takes. You don't ask for any receipts. What are you doing if you don't satisfy that customer? You're losing all that money that the customer brings in. The money that we spend on making a guest happy is priceless. There is no dollar amount you can put on an unhappy guest. The cost of that food doesn't compare to what the customer buys and what the customer will tell other customers. You mess up with one person, they go and they tell 10 other people. Us as managers, we need to empower our cashiers to be able to take care of it when we're not around. We say, well listen, let me take that from you, let me fix it for you. I'm so sorry about that. Would you like to have a churro while you're waiting? We try to satisfy the customer because we want them to come back. Don't be afraid of the complaints. They're very important. A problem gives me a second opportunity to make things right. There is no such a thing as a problem with a guest. It's an opportunity you get a chance to resolve a situation with a guest. I, would, I think I would actually say thank you for telling me what was wrong. Say thank you. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Thank you for telling me about your problem. And I personally thank you for taking our business to the next level. If they have a complaint or if they have an issue, that is a big chance for you. It's almost one of our best marketing chances that we have because you can turn that what would have been a, a poor experience, you can make it a big positive. It's your obligation, it's your job, and we'll back you 100% to make sure that guest is happy. And I truly thank you. Thank you for coming back again.